protests here, huh? Somebody help Charles. Oh, the cops are here. Cops are all over the place. We were rat, Matt Myers. Can you continue your post for me, please? Okay, yep. thank you. Glad to see you out here. You want everybody's voice to be heard, but you need to make sure, though, that they're not disruptive or there's not going to be any breaches of the No, it's a solid protest. It's a solid protest. Okay. We're not saying anything. Okay, perfect, because I want to make sure that there, there are no uh, confrontations that are going to escalate. Well, when, if yeah. anything, it's them touching us. Yeah, if we know what they did We're not going to be violent. Okay, so here's what, we're going to, so here's what I'm going to tell you, though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a line between you guys my role is to make sure that I prevent breaches of the peace. It's not satisfactory for any of us here if an assault occurs, okay? So, we're not here to hurt anybody. And I, I certainly agree, but my role is to make sure that that does not happen. So there's going to be a buffer between you guys of 10 meters. So you guys can stay here and have your silent protest, but you're not going to be mingling with the crowd. Because what's going to happen is there's going to be an interaction that's going to turn to a confrontation, that's going to turn to an assault. That's not happening. You but what if it doesn't? That's why I'm here, because I'm going to guarantee you that. What if I just stay right? here? Don't trust them. That's why you're going to have to stay here, right? Make sure that you make sure that you get your message through, okay? So what I'm going to suggest is it's going to be 10 meters, whether or not it's here or around. Don't the trust them. That's a suggestion, and you're no, not. No, it's not. I'm actually telling you that, right? I'm going to prevent any breach of the pieces. I'm not getting any closer than 10 meters. This way. Okay, that's what I'm telling you. Can make this right? make sure you get your message. Right. This isn't about me. Picture. It's about your guy's message. Ten meters back, no confrontations. Okay. So, so if wherever you guys want to be, we'll assist you with that. But I don't want you any closer than that. I need to make sure that there's no confrontations. I can't say that enough. Ten meters, right here, right? You guys can stay here all the way around the outside. See where these other guys are in the. The marshals. And now we're going to there as an individual because they're ready. They do not represent the universe to represent anybody in their world. They don't represent themselves. And sometimes they can have great difficulty with that. Where would you like to be? Well, you're not like ladies. No, you're not You're not getting in there. So, something's going to happen. I'm going to be alone. 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 Okay, please get out of the way. Well, yes, I, I'm going to stay here, right? I'm not in anybody's okay. way. I'm okay. a part of the body. Okay, all right. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. Right. 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 We were rat, Matt Myers. I gotta accuse me to be a pedophile. He's there. Can you imagine? Has only one right, and that, of course, is the right to life. The rest of our life is a path of responsibility. And they also reminded them as a Catholic, I was also taught certain principles, many of which were told by our bishop from our diocese in his homily this morning. But on October 19, 2015, my good friend Bishop Douglas Crosby, who was the bishop in Hamilton, told the panel of experts, every, every human life from the moment of conception until death is sacred because the human person has been willed for its own sake in the image and the likeness of the living and holy God. And I told them that the sanctity of life is very fundamental to our life. In fact, it's mentioned in our Charter of Rights as a fundamental right. And I remind them that Jesus came to heal and give life. And there's not an instance in Scripture of ours where, in fact, Jesus kills anybody or orders anybody. 
I'm glad that my friends are over here. If you want to know what the culture of death looks like, look over there on my left. That's what the culture of death represents, right there. It, in fact, is a personification of what we who believe in life and in the gospel of life will see what it looks like when legislation such as the proposed by Parliament, in fact, will look like. So don't be alarmed by what they're saying. You know, those veterans who come from our communities who fought hard in the wars to liberate people. To have people such as them could in fact express opinions that are contrary to ours. Pope John Paul II, the same John Paul II, of course, on August 15, 1993, at the World USA in Denver, Colorado, said this. If you want equal justice for all, lasting justice and peace, defend life. All the great causes that are yours today will have meaning only to the extent that you guarantee the right to life. And that's why it's important for us as individuals here to stand up for life. If you don't stand up for life, who's going to do it? Dr. Hyatt has already talked about the hell of fear. And you know what the difficulty was the hell of fear? Who about our lives? 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 to become a reality in our country. So we need to go Freedom of conscience and religion. And you know, when you look at Bill C-31, it does not acknowledge... Is this a meeting of the Godfather? Oh, no. What do you want? Is this a meeting of the Godfather? Go away. Just go away. Godfather thing? We're a federated government. I said, I don't care who you are. You're a government. Government has to guarantee fundamental freedoms of conscience. It's a principle under international law, and Canada's going to violate international law if they don't protect those in medical profession, the institutions, so that they don't want death. They want life. It's important we know that. And if that law passes, and you saw the scene in Parliament yesterday, the disgusting scene of the, the Prime Minister of this country, thought upon himself, he could push people. And if that's the kind of political leader we have in this country, thank God he's not being our fight. Because we can't afford people to follow us. Because we believe in freedom of choice and freedom of conscience. But if this law passes as it is, Canada will be the only country in the whole wide world that will force doctors, pharmacists, nurses, and all those in the health profession to kill. There's no way you can sugarcoat suicide and euthanasia. It's death. It's deliberate death. And if our people say we want life, we need life. We need people such as ourselves to make sure that we stand up for life. You see these little babies that are here, little children? Let's guarantee that the next 45 years, people like you and I are standing up against the culture of death that's being talked about over here and in fact proclaim life. And I remind the parliamentarians last week ago and I said, look, we say pro-choice, we say pro-choice, what has our country kind of become? How can our prime minister go around the world? Genocide, violence, and danger. 
Canada has to stand up for human rights. Canada can't do it inside China. Canada.